I'm sure you've seen it plastered all over television, billboards, and your Instagram feeds. Most people don't know the newest bachelor's name, where he's from, or what the man looks like, but we all know that he's a virgin. Why does this network care to not only tell us this detail, but transmit the information far and wide across culture? Clearly, we are a culture that is obsessed with sexuality, but I fear that we have bought into the false notion that not having sex makes you any less as a man or woman. Losing your virginity is seen by our culture as a rite of passage, which leaves many young people buying into the false idea that I need to lose my virginity before high school and definitely in college in order to be a man or in order to have experience. The reality is less than half of all high school students have had sex, which means more and more young people are choosing to wait. What you gain when you choose to wait for marriage is not prudishness, but clarity. It's not lack of experience, but a training and faithfulness. As one of my heroes, Jason Everett says, the virtue of chastity is a training and orienting of my desires in such a way that I am learning how to reverence and be faithful to my spouse for the rest of my life. This leads to more favorable marriage outcomes that is backed by research. When a man is married as a virgin, his divorce rate is 63% lower than a non-virgin. And for women, it's 76% lower. The odds of divorce are lowest with zero or one premarital sex partners. When it comes to hooking up, only about 15% of college students actually enjoy it. And about one third of college students will not hook up at all their entire college career. Research has found that college students do not have more frequent sex or more sexual partners than undergraduates in previous eras. So studies have demonstrated that living out the virtue of chastity is actually associated with better relationship outcomes even when controlling for religiosity. Shaming someone, regardless of the reason, is not the answer. If you're a virgin or if you're not a virgin, and honestly, what woman does not want to be with a man who has trained his heart and mind in the school of virtue?